Hello, my name is Jerry Almodar, Superintendent of the Colton Joint Unified School District. I'd like to take a moment during this very busy time of the school year to pause and to say thank you to all our employees for all you do for the district. We as teachers provide students the confidence that they need to be successful. We in the Child Development Department make sure that our students are ready for kindergarten and to become responsible citizens. We, we make sure we, we get, get our students safely to their destinations. destinations. We as principals do what's best for kids. We in purchasing make sure students have the goods and services they need to be successful. We as counselors meet the academic, personal, and social needs of our students. We, we thank, thank you for your hard work and dedication. We're all in this together. Well, we couldn't get this job done without the support of all of the district employees uh, involved. It is important that we work collaboratively together. Um, I think uh, one of the big areas uh, that motivates me is seeing the enthusiasm from the students to the teachers to the classified employees, from the nutritional service directors to the grounds and maintenance operations and the custodial crews. One thing, uh, one thing that makes this district so special are its people. And here are just a few individuals that represent CJUSD. Hi, my name is Lisa Lee. I'm a school bus driver and a pre-trip trainer also. So we get up around 3.30, 4 o'clock in the morning. We come into our yards about 5.30, 6 o'clock. We inspect our vehicles uh, to make sure they are safely to drive every day. Start our routes 6, um, 6 o'clock, 6.15. Um, get on our kids, students all on time. We have a certain schedule. High schools, the junior high and the elementary, get them on a timely basis. Um, get to the yard, we lock up our buses, we hook up our CNGs, which is compressed natural gas buses to fuel them, and um, we start our day training. We're the first faces in the morning and the last ones to get off, I'm trying to have them uh, ensure they have good days. We greet the parents because sometimes we have, especially kindergartens, with new parents that um, have their, they're bringing their precious cargo to us. We kind of just want to talk to them, hey, we're going to go ahead and take care of your children safely. We'll take them to school and back to the bus stop safely on a daily basis and to trust in us that we'll be able to take them to school and back. We're promoting anti-bullying. Um, we don't tolerate that in the school district or in our buses. Also, we did the Christmas program where we're collecting food, clothing, toys for our school district students um, just to help them out. My name is Carol Dye and I am the senior buyer in the purchasing department. We buy everything, pretty much everything that students and teachers need to be successful in the classroom. And we also buy all the furniture and uh, supplies for staff at the district office and support sites. Personally, as a senior buyer, I purchase things like furniture, computers, Chromebooks, audiovisual equipment, and books. We purchased a lot of Chromebooks in the district. Last year in fiscal 15-16, I purchased over 7,300 Chromebooks for the students in the classroom. I came from private industry where my focus was to contribute to the gross profit of the company. And I purposely made a change to the school environment so that my, my efforts would be to benefit um, students instead of dividend, uh, dividends at the end of the year. So. What I like about my job is the variety of items I get to purchase. Um, it's an open field. I never know what's going to come across my desk, um, and it's always interesting. I learn new things. Um, I keep um, current by reading magazines, catalogs, by listening to my fellow employees. For instance, this year I've been purchasing 3D printers, and who even heard of 3D printers a few years ago? So that's always interesting. It really is. My name is Leilani Batista and I am the Activities Director here at Grand Terrace High School. I've worked for our district for about 27 years. Um, as an Activities Director, however, I opened up uh, Grand Terrace High School five years ago. I love about my job that I can still directly connect with students and I enjoy working with staff members to do the same thing. One of the things um, one of the primary things that an activities director does is to develop uh, leadership skills in our 
uh, ASB leadership students and Renaissance students here at Grand Terrace. Um, and through those skills, we host activities by which those students can actually um, utilize those skills and put them into action. We're hoping to partner with more educators and get more, more educators who have a real passion to develop our future leaders with uh, the inner character that they need uh, so that they can better serve their communities and others. And so we're welcoming other educators to come along board with us as long as they have the same passion, same vision, and they really want to see kids progress. Um, I hope the impact that I make on my students is a desire to grow and to learn. Um, not just when they graduate from high school, but even as they go into life and pursue their lifelong careers and, and goals. I have been in Colton Joint Unified for 11 years, and I absolutely love my job. As a principal, I get to impact so many lives, over 750 students, over 70 staff members, and over 750 families. So I feel that it is my job to support my staff so that they then can go out and do the best that they can for their students. So I get up every day knowing that I have an amazing staff that I work with and that I have amazing students that come here to Bernie. And for me, this is a passion. This is not just a job, but a passion where I know that we are planting seeds every day and making a difference uh, in, in a lot of students' lives. And I want to always encourage my staff to never forget that and always remember why they are here what we do is not in vain, that we have an impact to change the lives of so many students. In fact, we just had a student return last week letting us know that he has a full paid scholarship to Yale and he was a Bernie student. So we just talked about that in leadership and that just reminds us of the power and the impact that we have on our kids. My name is Steve Bart. I've been with the district uh, off and on 15 years. I'm a work experience teacher. We help students secure employment. Uh, once they secure employment, we get, uh, provide them the appropriate paperwork so that they can go out into the community and, and work. Well, it provides an opportunity for real life experience in the workforce. It also allows them to explore different work uh, environments. I've worked in a variety of different positions with the Colton Joint Unified School District. Uh, I've worked as an RSP teacher, SDC teacher, mild mod and mod severe and now in my current assignment as a work experience teacher. I love many aspects of my job, but the best part is working with the students and the community to help students achieve their goals. I hope to always have a positive impact with my students and my colleagues and the community. And with that, that just kind of feeds me to keep wanting to improve in my position and also work with uh, students in different capacities because then it helps me realize there are just so many dimensions to our schools, our, our students, our communities. Um, it's my hope in my, that the impact that I have on each student or you know, as many students as possible is that they have a love of learning, that they love their community, that they just have a positive attitude towards seeing a problem and finding a solution or having a question and finding the answer. And then what is it like for you to see your student Doing, fulfilling his dream. I don't have the uh, with seeing Adrian. <laughs> it's it's pride in knowing that he had a goal, and he's working really hard to achieve it, and he's and he's achieving it with small steps, and then huge steps with with film schools and and being accepted to university. It warms my heart, and knowing his parents, it warms my heart knowing that all their hard work and their hopes in Adrian are coming to fruition and it's phenomenal, it's awesome.